I just want to take your mind a little bit back how we started where we are today. Today, we have been able to establish many Lazen offices across the world, including in Austria. And we expect that these Lazen officers and representatives of the Biafra Republic government in exile will increase as we forge ahead and get closer to the declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra this year. Everything we are doing today is only going to work for Biafra and not anybody else. We are not going to follow the path previous people or previous agitators has followed. We are also not going to follow the path that many other nations has followed that work for them. We have identified the roadmap that will work for Biafra, only for Biafra. Considering the fact that Nigeria is a very, very dangerous and corrupt state with the complicity and the very dangerous diversity that have made everybody that dare to speak for the people a scapegoat and a target for assassination. We have been able to defeat the fear by embarking on numerous civil disobedience since the kidnap of Mazin and Bikan in Kenya. This particular civil disobedience that the Biafra government continued to push in Biafra territory has further shown and confirmed the delegitimization of Nigeria within Biafra land. Today, we are proving to the world when the time comes, the evidences are there that Biafra people have lost confidence in anything in Nigeria. That Biafra people have chosen only the Biafra Republic of Montenegro as the only legitimate government that speak for them and fight for their interests. Any negotiation in any level and anywhere that Biafra government is not involved can never stand. You can't negotiate one-sided and expect peace to reign. The only thing that we lay a very good background for lasting peace, if there should be peace at all, must involve the Biafra Republic government in exile on the table. And that only part to peace is Considering the fact that Biafra Republic of Metineza has organized the ongoing self-referendum, ratification of this result will go a very long way in restoring peace and order. For the good of those who may have business interests in Biafra territory. Ignoring the Biafra Republic of Metineza democratic process will backfire. As it stands today, we are not just fighting for freedom, we are also fighting to preserve our life, our culture, and the right to live. It is no longer about just uh, independence. No, we are now fighting for survival. 